Hello, this is Seb Herring from App Marketing Lab. Today, I would like to show you two different tools I'm using to build uh, nice screenshots. Um, in this example, we're going to use uh, the map Apple, <coughs> the Apple Map uh, that comes on the uh, iPhone simulator, and uh, we're going to be loading it and into two different tools. The first tool is called Mocuphone. It's a free tool. It will um, from these screenshots will generate uh, an image like that, and the second one is called Place It, and will generate this kind of image. I'm gonna sh in the next few minutes. I'm gonna show you how to use those two different tools to generate uh, those screenshots. Before we dive into those two tools, I wanted to uh, review with you the importance of uh, getting nice screenshots. In this example. Uh, this is an application called Math Brain Booster, uh, created by uh, my friend Kirill in in, in Moscow. Uh, and in as you can see in in this example, is uh, Kirill used uh, those screenshots with the the device on them uh, because sometimes using the screenshot by itself is not uh, is not enough and doesn't tell a story uh, because a lot of our screenshots are not uh, self-explanatory. Uh, here by adding the device and uh, uh, is able to um, have like a nice looking screenshot and on top of it is also able to add some text and show and explain the benefits to the user uh, which hopefully is going to convince them to download the application. Now it's time to create our uh, basic screenshot. Uh, you can do that two ways. Uh, you can do this from the device itself by holding to uh, the top button uh, or you can also do this from the simulator. Um, so here I'm going to be starting the uh, map application and using command S or going here, save screenshot. I'm going to create a screenshot. So it's being saved on the, my desktop. Uh, on the other side, I have two screens, so it's, it was on the second screen. Um, so now here is um, here is my screenshot. So I'm going to be placing my screenshot into my download folder, and I'm going to be uh, reusing it in uh, in uh, Mocuphone and place it. Let's now look at our first tool uh, called uh, Mocuphone. So you go to the web. You type mockyphone, M-O-C-K-U-P-H-O-N-E dot com. And here you end, you arrive on their website that shows all the devices for which you can do screenshots. Uh, the tool is completely free. Um, so let's look at the devices here. Uh, if you stay, uh, you can see all the angles in which you're going to have the screenshots. Uh, so you have all the latest iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPads of different generations. You also have Android phones, um, Windows phones, and TVs. So one thing to notice is that uh, as the time of the recording on uh, the iPhone 5S, you have three, a uh, three angles, I believe, um, where on the iPhone 5, uh, you have a bit more. So I'm going to pick... Uh, iPhone 5 because iPhone 5s and 5 look very similar. So I'm going to pick a white one. And it's asking me to drop the file, so I have my file here that I prepared before. That's it. I'm going to generate the screen. And to show me one of the uh, one of the image I'm getting. See, very nice looking. Um, and now to download it, um, I'm gonna be entering uh, an email address. I skipped that step, but I uh, received an email from Mocuphone where I could download a zip file 
um, in the zip file is now in my downloads folder I can I'm gonna be opening it now and in the zip file I have um, all the different uh, screenshots all the different angle of the same screenshots uh, that I that I selected so here I'm gonna open one of them and uh, you can see you can see how how it looks so of course the the background like that is not very attractive so one thing you can do is then you can open in um, image editor um, you can use Photoshop if you have it but if you're on a tight budget you can use tools like GIMP uh, which is free or uh, Acorn I, I, I personally prefer using Acorn you can test it for free and then I think it's uh, $49 um, so I can open it with uh, with Acorn it's on the other screen it says again now I can I can see my screen here and uh, I can uh, be uh, doing all kinds of things on the image and adding layers and if necessary you may have to um, call a designer to be able to add um, all the benefits and all the things that you want to be adding on the screenshots but um, already the, the base is very good. The second tool we're going to be looking at is place it to go there type P L A C E I T dot net. Place it dot net. So this tool is um, is similar than similar to the first one, but it's a bit more advanced. And there's some basic functionality that it's free, uh, but otherwise um, you have to pay for more advanced features. So let's look uh, first. Let's pick. Um, so unless the other ones, uh, this one is going to provide you uh, a different set of backgrounds. So let's look at a single shot. You can also like select the device. So here we have an iPhone. So we're going to only select uh, iPhone uh, photos. You can go down until I find a image I like. Let's pick. Uh, let's pick that one, the first one. So here you see that it's a real picture, and now I can I'm going to be able to add my screenshot in the middle. So I can upload the image. My map is still there. So asking me if I want to crop it or not, I can resize it. But uh, I don't really need to do that right now. So. takes a few seconds to process and that's it so now I can download the image and here it's gives it, giving me multiple options um, uh, from a license perspective there is like a multiple options so free uh, free options we can also have a commercial options for five dollars and extended uh, commercial you have to go in in the details to see which one which one you need but it's a free one for sure and in terms of uh, sizes it's the same thing the, f the small size is free but the other ones are uh, different prices so let's pick the free one right now I can download it so it's coming here on my screen and here we go that's uh, this is screen, uh, 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 the screenshot I just created. Um, the thing to also to notice is that when you on the free version, um, they're adding a, kind of a watermark here. Um, so uh, unless you pay for it, you're you're gonna you're gonna have that on your image at the bottom right. Uh, the other thing to look at this tool also. Um, is first you have all, a lot of the different devices that you can you can pick from, uh, but you also have what they call Blender, uh, and then for Blender you can um, 
do things like uh, moving hands. So here, for example, I can um, use a hand I can move around. Uh, I can add my screenshot here, but I, I can have an, a hand here that can uh, click on different part of the screen. I can I can have also different uh, set of fingers. Here, for example, I can say when someone's uh, pinching pin, pinching the, uh, the screen to be able to zoom. Uh, or using three fingers, I mean, all kind of gesture that you can uh, customize here. That's pretty nice. And then for on the same thing on the on the background, I can also pick a uh, different set of backgrounds that are pr uh, provided here, um, depending on the type of applications I want to have. Uh, the other option too is the multi-stage. Uh, in the multi-stage, uh, that means you're going to have different devices of different size where I can have the iPad and the iPhone at the same time and be dropping different uh, different screenshots. Uh, and then the last one uh, is the workflow. Oh, no, I need to unselect here. So for the workflow I just picked um, uh, iPhone but there are other ones too. So let's say I'm gonna pick this one. Uh, so I can I can also move the hands there, uh, but you see that there's a, it's not a static image. There's some animation behind uh, because it's a GIF. It's not a it's not a static image. So let's see another one. So in this one, you see someone in the back. So I'm going to pick this set of uh, this set of finger and moving the hand. And once I generate the the, the screenshot, it's not really a screenshot. It's going to be an animation. Uh, so it's not something you can upload to uh, to iTunes. Uh, here you have some water going on, but if you, this is the kind of effect you want, that's, that could be useful. That's it for the video. Uh, thanks for listening. If you want to get uh, more information, videos, and blog posts about uh, application marketing, uh, feel free to visit my website called appmarketinglab.com. Uh, and the link is also uh, underneath the video. Thank you.